So our main uh, landmarks for our knee, okay? Obviously we're gonna have our kneecap. <laughs> Place your hand right here. Does it tickle anymore? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Never mind. You move your hand then if it didn't work. Do you guys know that trick? Yeah. You have them. Have them put their hand because their brain thinks it's them. They're guarding too. Yeah. Patella ligament down on two hour tibial tuberosity. So these are the basic landmarks, okay, that you're going to use, and you can palpate the distal end of kind of tibial tuberosity. Can you guys see well enough? Move if you can't. <clears throat> Different ideas. I'm going BOGO going right now. Just saying. Dairy Queen has BOGO. Okay, so we're scanning the knee joint. The first thing you want to find if you're going to go intraarticular, so we go intraarticular from a, uh, a superior approach, okay? We, and the reason why is because you can't actually see the intraarticular space from when you go through the eyes of the knee, okay? You can see cartilage there, but you can't actually see the intraarticular space. So you can't technically confirm that you're in intraarticular space. Whereas from the suprapatellar recess, you can, okay? So first thing you're gonna wanna find is patella, okay? So here we have patella, so this makes our quadriceps tendon. Okay, you can scan through, and you can see here's the medial aspect of it. Okay, there's the most medial fibers of vastus medialis in the serving. And then you can fan out laterally, and you can follow it all the way out laterally to where the most lateral fibers of vastus lateralis are inserting over here. Okay, so here to here. When you come roughly midline, you're going to notice that down here, let's get a bit more depth. Get. Everyone see still? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this down here is what? Femur. Right, so femur, patella, and then at some point through here when you're scanning, you will find the suprapatellar recess. Okay, so the suprapatellar recess is a recess that's basically gonna come from this region here and it's going to extend up like this and then sometimes it runs kind of in like this, uh, this C, this arc. Sometimes in patients that don't have a lot of pathology, we actually need to uh, get them into more knee flexion. So let's have you there. Now we can see a whole hell of a lot better. Okay, so this right here, okay, starting from here, going up here, here, and then coming across, that's the suprapatellar recess. Okay, so when you have this. Um, uh, image, you can identify a few things, okay? Up here, what's going to be the very top layer? Skin. Skin. What's right underneath the skin? Sub-Q fat. Sub-Q fat. Then we have what? Quad tendon. Yeah, we have the quad tendon, okay? Now, there's two fat pads in the suprapatellar region, okay? 
this one here is called the Super Patellar Fat Pad, okay? You can remember it because it's the only fat pad that's actually touching the patella, hence why it's named Super Patellar. This one over here is called the Prefemoral Fat Pad. So again, if you want to remember, it's technically the only one that's touching the femur because our, um, uh, our super patellar recess can separate the two. Now, in some instances, especially when you have some swelling, you may have a scenario, you don't in you, you may have a scenario where you can, the line that you would see down this way would go tendon, super patellar fat pad, recess, prefemoral fat pad then femur, okay? So that's just important to understand what you're looking at so that way when we flip this to actually go intraarticular, you have a better appreciation of what you're looking at. So this is how you start and you find access to the joint, okay? So I usually try to find, I don't like it when it's like, like here. Because you see how this doesn't really look like it's connected to here? It is, it's just the way that it's shaped. It's not looking like it. I don't like to go in this area just because I just want a clean, clean slice to look at. So, oops. so right there is probably where I would start my rotation, okay? Most of the time this is gonna be slightly lateral off the knee, okay? So here is midline. You see how we don't see it overly well right in here? Mm -hmm. Comes slightly off lateral. That's generally where you're going to see the superstar recess easiest, okay? Then from here, we're going to rotate our transducer 90 degrees, keeping this super patellar recess in view so that way we can do our injection. So from here, we're going to rotate it and we're going to keep that spot dark. So now, this right here, see that line going across? That's the super patellar recess.